Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKita.com. We're at Canonical's booth at CES 2013, checking out Ubuntu for phones. And you can see that it's running on a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so Evo will tell us all about it. Cool, so um, we see over here indeed is uh, Ubuntu running on the phone. Um, we basically brought the desktop to the phone, same core, um, now, but now with a new user interface, uh, optimized for small touch screens. Uh, so what you see over here are, uh, what well, it's a welcome screen. It's the first screen that you see after you start your phone, right? So two, impo two important things to notice. Uh, first of all, uh, no buttons, and you, uh, second of all, the graphics. So first, the graphic. Um, the graphics basically a visualization that builds up over time based on your data. So it, 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 it's very unique for every person. and gives a very personal touch to your phone. The other important thing to see is there are no buttons. Um, so no hard key buttons, no soft key buttons. And the reason is that we have uh, optimized, uh, well, we basically designed the whole experience around the edges of the screen. So every edge has a very specific purpose. Every edge allows me to interact with the device really fast and multitask between the apps really fast. So for example, when I go to the left, I go to my favorite apps. Yep. So um, I can go to Facebook, uh, gallery, camera, uh, phone, or for example, un unlock the phone to home. And um, basically, the really cool thing uh, about the edges is that no matter where I am, I can basically access my favorite app very fast. So I don't need to go out of my app. Basically, just go. Let me see. So I'm in the gallery now, and uh, come on, there you go. Uh, and for example, so gallery, and I go to here's the camera, um, and then so I, can, I can launch apps really fast. If I want to go back now to my previous screen, uh, or to my previous app, I use the right edge for that. So I go here. So the left edge is for launching apps really quickly, the right edge is for going back between apps, so it's really fast switching between apps. Um, the other important thing to notice is that um, you know, there are no controls on the screen. We didn't want to annoy the user with buttons all the time. The user actually wants to see the buttons when he actually needs them. When I'm looking at my pictures, I don't want to see buttons, I just want to see my pictures. So basically when um, I have a header here, uh, I changed basically to um, um, events, Change the photos, you see it, it runs really smoothly. If I start scrolling now, um, even the header goes away, right? So if I want to open a picture now, I still no controls. If I go from the, the bottom, I have to edit version over here. I'll share version over there. If I want to go back to the gallery, I just go here. Right? So it's a it's a very clean and immersive experience, and I only can bring in um, I can bring in the controls when I actually want um, want to use them and they're not there all the time. And the other important thing to, to see is that sometimes people want to change the setting. And actually for changing the setting, I don't want to go back um, in, um, I want to go out of my app, I want to go to the home screen, find the settings uh, menu. I you basically just want to uh, quickly change my setting without leaving the app. And that's what I do by the top screen, right? So the top edge. So this is messages, sound, network, battery, day and time, for example, battery over here. I look there, bring it back up, and I'm back in my app. So also, for example, date and time, bring it back up, and I'm back in my app. So there you go, and messages, I can, I can reply to the message, reply to an email, bring it back up, and there you go. So if you want to go back to the home screen now, go here, and you see it's running really well now. It's performing really well. Uh, even for alpha version, it's like already doing really well, see that? Picture, there you go. Go back, super smooth. With the home screen. Go back to people, for example. This is my contacts, Facebook integrators. I go back to music. I go to music, my music, also music available for download. And if I go to apps, it shows my running apps. And over here, my, my videos with uh, videos I can download and basically install. Now back to home. There you go. Let's see a boot to the phone.